Hi guys, Mark here. Welcome. Today we're tying another beautiful globe knot. The items needed to tie our knot are the following. A globe knot mandrel with a three pin setup. So the mandrel has a total of three columns. One, two, three. The diameter of the mandrel is an inch. Next, we're going to need a core for our knot, which is again an inch in diameter. We're going to need a piece of 95 cord, this one is 13 feet long. Finally, a lacing needle is almost a must. The pin setup for our mandrel can be seen here. Essentially rows B, C, D, E, F, G are filled out. In practice, that means the inner three most rows on each side of our mandrel. We now prepare our cord, mandrel and lacing needle for the tying process. Fold your cord in half. We're going to use half of it to tie our knot. The other half, for now, we're going to coil up. Grab your working hand, feed it through the mandrel near B1, so through this hole. Onto our working hand, we now attach a lacing needle. So what we got is our mandrel, our coil, our working end coming up near B1 and a lacing needle attached onto the working end. Here on the screen you have the entire run list which you can now follow step by step. Or follow me through the entire tying process. We begin tying at B1. We move from B1 to E3, then from E3 to C1, from C1 to F3, from F3 to D1, from D1 to G3. From G3 we're going to move to B2 going under over under. From B2 we're going to move to E1 
going over, under, over. From E1, we move to C2, going over, under, over. From C2, we move to F1, going under, over, under. From F1, we move to D2, going under, over, under. From D2, we move to G1, Going over, under, over. From G1, we move to B3. Going over, then under, continuing over, under, over, under, reaching B3. From B3, we move to E2, starting under, then over, under, over. Under, over. Reaching E2. From E2, we move to C3, starting under, then over, under, over. Under, over, reaching C3. From C3, we move to F2, starting over, then under, over, under, Over under, reaching F2. From F2, we move to D3, starting over, then under, over under. Over under, reaching D3. 
from D3, we now pass to G2, starting under, over, under, over, under, and finally over, reaching G2. We are now at our final pass, from G2 to B1, starting under, then continuing over, under over, under over, under over, and under. At this point, we have reached B1, we place our working end next to the standing end, and we work it a bit further into the knot. So a few unders like this, which begins to double up our knot. At this point we are going to switch from our working end to the standing end, so undo the coil, pull it through Reattach the lacing needle onto this standing long end and double up the knot. So we double up our knot by simply following the working end through the knot until we reach our working end. When you reach the other end, you have effectively doubled up your knot. For now, sink in all of your screws into the mandrel, at which point we are going to begin transferring our knot onto the core.
with the screws sunk in, we begin tightening up our knot on the mandrel, removing as much slack as possible. So to do this we start at one end, pulling slack through the knot into the other end. Make sure to bunch up your knot so that you can pull as much slack as possible out of the knot. I'm going to do this process a total of two times, then we're going to transfer our knot onto the core. After two passes of tightening, my knot is as tight as it can be, so I'm going to transfer it onto the cord. Shape up the knot, even it out, spread it apart a bit, Make it look nice before you tighten it up. Something like this. We start at one end, just like on the mandrel, pulling slack through the knot into the other end. Do this one, maybe two times. After tightening up our knot onto the core, not too tightly, we continue by adding another pass to our knot. This pass is going to close up any gaps plus tighten up our knot a bit further. With the knot tripled up, all there's left to do is to roll it a bit, making it a bit more even, and fitting the covering knot to the cord. I would like to sincerely thank you for joining me today, I hope that I made the tutorial clear enough, thank you and see ya next time.